In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit an SVG file in PowerPoint. Now, normally you have two types of image files. One's a bitmap, the other one is vector. Uh, bitmap images are uh, images where they're kind of like a grid and represented by pixels. So when you scale them up, you start to see the pixels. So you get that kind of pixelated, blocky look. Uh, vector images, though, are made up of a mathematical process. So they're usually a bunch of shapes. And when you scale it up, the shapes uh, scale up as well because they're redrawn. So the image has uh, is always going to remain nice and crisp. So SVG are uh, vector images. Um, so here's a vector image. So the first thing is you need to insert it. So you would just go to Insert, Pictures, and then Insert your SVG file. And once it's inside of here, uh, what's really nice is you can edit this so you don't need to have Illustrator or Photoshop or a program like that. You can actually edit the SVG files inside of PowerPoint. And for the most part, it works really well. There are some SVG files that I've inserted and uh, they don't work, but you know, that's okay because I'm using PowerPoint. So um, I have an SVG file that I inserted. A lot of times you'll get a vector file like this and you think, hey, this is a really cool file. But I want all this busyness. Like I don't want all the background stuff and the chair. And I just want the guy on the computer and maybe even get rid of the mouse cable. So you end up with something that looks like this. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's actually pretty simple. So once the SVG file is inserted on your slide, uh, what you can do is just double click on it. That's going to go to the Format Toolbar. And you'll see there's a Convert to Shape option right here. Now if you don't see that, that means your version of PowerPoint doesn't have it. So I think it started with uh, PowerPoint 2016 inside of the Office 365 subscription. So you probably need that if you don't see that. Uh, the other option is you can right click on the image and do uh, Convert to Shape. Uh, what we're going to do is this is a SVG vector image. So we're going to convert that to a bunch of PowerPoint shapes. And it's going to tell us that it needs to be converted. We'll say yes. And now what we see here is you can see this is made up of 3100 shapes. So it actually is going to bog down your system. So one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is usually you just have one PowerPoint file open to do your graphics uh, and get what you need out of it and close it down so this way uh, your system doesn't bog down because I, I found with a lot of these vector images uh, that'll happen. And we may even experience that. The other thing is I'll point out, I have the selection pane open. So just go to select selection pane and that allows you to see all the shapes. So we can see it's a big group right now. Now when you did that conversion, um, it's a grouped shapes right now. So we're going to right click and we're going to ungroup that. And now we have access to all 3100 shapes. And you can see they're all here. Now what I like to do is I like to select and delete. Now some people may not want to do that. They may actually just hide it. And so this way they always have the shapes available to them. I don't care about this. What we're going to do is clean this up. We want to get to a point where we have this. So what we're going to do is just select things and delete them. And the big shapes are obviously really easy to do that. One of the things with PowerPoint that's really nice is when you do your selection, so I'm going to select the letter E. Uh, these are the bounding box right here for that shape. It doesn't matter what I'm on. You can see I'm touching all four of these letters, but I'm not all the way over the letter. So if I'm on the letters, I'm only going to select the object where I have the entire bounding box in my selection. Right now that's E. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing your editing. So I'm going to go ahead and delete a few of these things just so you can see how fast that works. And we'll go ahead and delete this. You can see I can already feel it starting to bog down here. It's a little slow. But that's why um, I would say do Control S to save this as well. I'll just delete a few of these so you can see how that works. And when you get to this kind of detail here, it's a little bit more work because you have to go in and delete all these little lines. But it, it only takes a few minutes uh, to do that. And then eventually you'll get to something like this. Now this right here after I did all that, you know, I got about got rid of about a third of the two thirds of the shapes. So I still have a thousand shapes here. Um, this is still going to be a little unwielding to work with. So once you have what you have, what you want, I would say select them, 
group them. So just right click and then select group. And now what you can do is you can right click and you can save as picture. So I would save it as a PNG file and the PNG will preserve the transparency. If you're working in this file, um, which I don't recommend, I always like to treat my PowerPoint files for visuals different than my PowerPoint files for presentations or whatever. So in this case I would just um, save this out as an image, close the PowerPoint, and then insert that image into my PowerPoint, my other slide deck. But let's say you were working in here. What I would do is I would do Control C, and you're going to, oops, Control C, you're going to copy it, Control V, you're going to paste it, and then you can paste it as an image. So now it's an image file, and then you can take this group that you have that's going to be really bogged bog down your system, and we'll delete it, and then it'll make working with your image much easier. Because if I go backwards, um, you can see like if I grab the, this is my image file. See how I can even, you, it's just slow. So it's it's going to bog down. So um, it makes it really hard to work with the system because so you have so many shapes open there. So I can't even click and drag this easily, right? So click and try to drag the vector shape and you can see how it just bogs down because it has to redraw all of that while you're moving it. So once you've saved it as an image, just delete it. Uh, and now you have an image file and you can see uh, it works really well. So that's basically it. Um, just insert the SVG file, ungroup it, make your changes, regroup, and um, save it as an image and you're good to go.